everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing a quick wig styling for Poet Girl slash Barrette Girl slash Little Miss Mochaccino from Extremely Goofy Movie. Um, I love to use, you know, wigs and just products that I already have to go ahead and create more home cosplays. So I went ahead and straightened my, um, Kyrie wig that I normally use to be completely straight to give it a little bit more length. This is a synthetic wig so I had to go ahead and make sure that my hair straightener was set to a certain temperature and it was a little staticky you know I, I did end up showing you all the process of straightening a synthetic wig with the um the Kid Bulma one, so it was pretty much the same process. I just made sure to straighten everything out because why spend the money on a new wig when I have the color that I need at home? It's just slightly shorter and I'm sure it'll work, so it was perfect. And we're also going to be a doing a cosplay transformation for... Um, I'm just going to call her, I don't know, I'm just, I'll just say the full name, Poet Girl slash Barrette Girl slash Little Miss Mocha Chino. So, as always, I'm starting with my primer. She does not have, like, eyelashes that are emphasized or, like, shading, you know, contouring or anything. So, I'm just going with a basic, um, pretty much makeup look. So, I did my, um primer and then I'm doing foundation on top and I'm just spreading that completely out buffering it out with a brush all the way around I'm going to be wearing a wig that is going to be covering my sideburns so I'm not too too concerned about covering the sideburns completely my sideburns do grow like really quickly like this is literally five o'clock shadow type deal it it sucks but oh well um I, I'm just gonna deal with it, you know, it's just how I am. And as you can see, the back window is completely empty of stuffed animals. No stuffed animals there yet because I do have to clean them and wash them from Snowvid 2021, unfortunately. So, yeah, I went ahead and I added powder on top of this. This is just regular color powder. And then I went ahead and did, uh, like a lilac lavender color eyeshadow on my eyelids because she does have like a lavender lilac eyeshadow color and I'm just gonna go ahead and buffer that all the way. This does take me a little bit of time because I did not put a um, eyelid primer underneath. I do have eyelid primer now but eyelid primer is very expensive and I was only gonna be wearing this cosplay for very little amount of time. I do apologize for the bells again. You know my cat loves to come in here whenever I'm doing voiceovers. And she just left, but we will see if she comes back in. Um, anyway, so yeah, you just want to go ahead and buffer it. She does have bigger eyes, so I am doing it all the way to the top of my eyebrow. This is normally how I do my eyeshadow anyway, and I'm trying to be very careful to not get any under my eyes. Um, there's a technique that most people that do their makeup uses. They do their eye makeup first, and they go ahead and do the, the primer and the foundation, and I've done this multiple times now, but I find it so weird. Like, I feel so odd doing it, and I feel like I'm missing foundation in certain areas. I, I try it from time to time, but I just was always taught to do my face and foundation first, and then go ahead and do my eyes last. That's that's just how I was taught to do my makeup a long time ago, and it's really hard to get out of that habit. So as you can see, I did have a little bit of spillage, so I am cleaning that up a little bit, um, just with the brush that had my foundation before. And now I'm applying some black eyeliner underneath my eye. Um, I guess this is on my waterline, right? Uh, sorry, I was dancing because I was watching Goofy Movie, the first one. So I was just dancing to the music because it has some of the best music in there. I absolutely love the movies. So good. Now I'm doing my eyeliner. She does have like a slight little wing. I'm using my NYX liquid liner to go ahead and do a straight little line up top. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a wing at the end. Not a huge wing, a very tiny wing wing because she does have like just like a slight kind of winged eye. And I'm going to do the same process with the other eye here. Um, she does have green eyes. My green contacts did go bad, but, um, 
it's really hard to tell that she has green eyes unless you really like pay attention to it so i just went ahead and did my regular brown eyes i, I didn't even bother worrying about the green contacts because i the green contacts i have also like they're coming in i don't have them anymore but the ones that i ordered would look too fake and like very esque and i just wasn't going for that i'm also filling in my brows a little bit with um just some extra makeup that i had on my brush because i have one brow that's thicker than the other so i always kind of have to fix that up Oh, and lipstick. So I am overlining my lips a little bit. She has nice and beautiful plump lips, but I just have regular lips and I did not have a lip liner, so I had to use a lipstick because um, this is this was the color that I could get closest to what she was wearing that wasn't a bright red, but I, I was a little bit of a disaster, as you can tell. I don't do regular lipstick normally. I normally do liquid lipstick so it, 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 was, it was a little bit of a process i felt like a clown in some instances because i was just like oh my gosh it's just getting everywhere and i had to use concealer to go ahead and clean it up and i was just like am i lining this properly oh my gosh the tip of the lipstick is starting to go down so as you can see i'm fixing it there with concealer i i was an absolute mess y'all so after i cleaned myself up with my concealer there I felt that it was time to go ahead and put the wig on. That was pretty much the last step. Like I said, she is a cartoon character without any like shading or anything like that. So um, next was, oh, the nose. How am I forgetting the nose? Um, yes, I had to line the nose. So I just started with doing the front, you know, and then I started using the corners where we have the circle like nostrils you know that you could tell there it's like a circle i don't even know how to describe it but i start using that as a template and that's how i pretty much created my nose i just used a black liquid liner that i had you know if there was more like face type makeup that i had to do like this i would have pulled out my snazaru palette but there wasn't so i said hey why not just use um just a liquid liner that i had it's a really good one i don't know why i never use it i think it's mainly because i prefer the liquid liner that i have instead of this like marker liner i feel like it's a lot easier and i have more control but yeah as you can see i'm using that as my um my template there and there is my nose. I love it so much. I'm looking all cute. I feel like the makeup is finally coming together and I don't look like a hot mess. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on the wig, the wig, and then the bread, 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 bread girl, bray girl. I think it's bray girl. I'm so, I, I always confuse that one, but yeah, just need to brush out the wig a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on the bray. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and I'm done. Just look how cute I look. This is Poet Girl slash Bray. Bray Girl slash Little Miss Mochaccino. Um, all super cute from an extreme goofy movie. I hope y'all enjoyed this cosplay transformation. It has been a while since I've brought y'all a cosplay transformation. I put on some leggings, a black shirt that I went ahead and tucked the sleeves up into itself, and some, um some black flats as well but you can't see the black flats but if you want to see the pictures go take a look at my instagram thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this and don't forget to like and subscribe i will see y'all in the next video all right bye everyone